Welcome back, friends, to more Lord of the Rings Online and to some more of the Summer Festival here in Middle-Earth. Got some fireworks going on, all sorts of crazy activities. In the last episode, I did a bunch of quests here in the Shire, but there are more yet to do. In specific, there's the Taste of Hobbiton, and I think I need to take a pony over there, so let me do just that. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be around here somewhere. Didn't I see some ponies around here? Where's that selected? I have... There we go. That's to the keg races, and I believe that is to the Taste of Hobbiton. So let me do that. Alright, where am I? This is an instanced area, then, it looks like. A little laggy, a little laggy. So, I don't know anything about this, honestly, so let me see what I can find out. Good day. Hello, are you here to try your hand at picking the fastest contestant? I guess. And I guess I have to wait, because I think this is timed. Like, there's a certain round every so often, so I'll wait until the next round. I'll do some editing here, of course, until we get there. Alright, so here we go. The next round begins in three minutes. Stay and have some tea. Good day to you, Kippen. Here for the festival, are you? Well, as you know, our main event is the Taste of Hobbiton. It's a combination race and eating contest. In the end, only one hobbit will have the endurance and pluck needed to roll across the finish line first. Pick a likely looking contestant, and let's see if you've got the eye to spot a winner. All right. So I have to pick one of these and basically bet on them. That guy looks like a champ. Bert, I don't know, that, that lady looks mean. Daffodil? I think I'm gonna go with Daffodil, dude. Let's go with Dashing Daffodilly. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Good day to you, my good hobbit. Are you here to watch the Taste of Hobbiton? It is a tremendously exciting event that we hold here every summer. Food is brought from all over the Shire, and our four speedy contestants must compete to see how quickly they can sample each bit of vittles. Here is a bit of inside information if you'll be wanting it. Daffodilly Hayward is a favorite this year. She has been undefeated pie eating champion in Overhill for three years running. And I heard she walked all the way from Overhill to Hobbiton Center last spring. I'd say she is a sure thing. Would you like to place your confidence in her winning this event? I'm sure there will be a great prize in it for you if you guess correctly. So I'll do her. Now the thing is, there's a quest for each of them. So I'm going to have to keep picking the same one over and over again until they finally win. And then repeat the process for the other three. There's also a deed associated with it to bet and win with each of the four Hobbits. So this might take me several hours to do, but with the magic of video editing, you won't see all of that. I'll of course play this first race and see how it plays out. And then from there, what I'll do is I'll edit to the winning races with each Hobbit. So, should be pretty fun. One more minute here. I'm excited to see how the race actually goes around. I think they go from station to station, eating and running and drinking. Should be pretty fun. And they're off. All right, Daffodilly with the early lead here. Stopping by to eat some stuff. She's at the head of the pack here. She is golly that thing down. Wiping that sweat off. And oh no, we got Birdie. Birdie is going on to the second station already. We got Daffodilly here in second catching up. She needs to pick up the pace if I'm going to win this. All right, there's stuff in their face. Now he's wiping his brow. He's a little bit too full. He's slowing down. He can barely walk. All right, we got Daffodilly still up in the lead. We may have picked a winning Hobbit here. We got the two ladies in the front. The two men lagging behind in the back. They don't even care. Look how slow they're walking. It's like that one instance where you have to walk with Frodo. So slow. My girl Daffodilly pulling ahead. Miles ahead of the competition here. Already at this next station. Eating some pie. Stuffing her pace. My poor belly over here. She's wiping her brow. She might be slowing down. Don't rush me. That was a heavy meal. She has slowed down tremendously. These guys are not catching up. We got our next lady here eating the pie. She may catch up to Daffodilly. Hopefully not. Trying to do my best here to commentate this exciting race here. I've never done any 
sports commentating, so forgive my amateur commentary. All right, Daffodilly, she is finishing up here. We got the second place, all wiping her brow. She is slow, but she's ahead, and we got Daffodilly running. We may have just picked a winner here, ladies and gentlemen. She's already eating way ahead of the boys, for sure. The only one who has a chance at this point will be Gladdy Chubb Baggins, if I were to say. So she's trying to walk it off. She's trying to play it smooth. Oh, and this lady has surpassed at the final station here. At the final station, we may be out of luck. I don't know, because she's already finished. We got Daffodilly here coming. She is running, though. She is not slowing down, not at all. She is going to cross that finish line. Daffodilly has lost. And my gamble did not pay off. That was pretty fun. Not going to lie. But now, like I said, I'm going to do some editing to show you uh, the winning race for all of them. It's going to take me forever, isn't it? That kind of sucks. That's all right. That's all right. So, apparently... Oh my god... Apparently, it can only do this once an hour. It's going to take me all year to do this. It's going to take me all year to get each of these to win. Ugh, that's ridiculous. You can reset it with me through coins, but I don't have any. Damn it. Oh well, I'll go record some other stuff for now, I guess. Daffodilly lost. The reason I wanted to show you another one of my losses is because there's a consolation prize. Because if you don't win, you can get a consolation prize. So there you go. All right, now I'll do the editing like I promised to show the wins. And we have another race here, and it looks like everybody's pretty even going here. Again, betting my money on Daffodilly here. Hopefully, this will be the one where she wins. Everybody wiping the brow off, and we have Mr. Mudrick Rumble here taking the lead. Everybody else lagging behind. Daffodilly going in second place here. Kind of tied with this guy right here, Bertie Gamwich. And it looks like we have hope. We have hope as the front runner is waiting and stalling while he digests a little bit. But he is off. The other three are still digesting a little bit. We got Gladdy over here not really running. She's kind of giving up on life. We got Daffodilly though right behind. There is still hope that we can win this one. That guy, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe just enjoying the scenery. Certainly not a part of this race. We got Mudrick and he has stalled. Daffodilly, our girl over here, has taken the lead. She's about to stuff her face into that pie. She can do it. Have faith. Let us give her a cheer. Give her some encouragement here. Get her going. We got people catching up. The ladies seem to be dominating the races, at least the previous ones I've been in. And we got her here in the berries. We can do this. We have a sizable lead. Hopefully, she'll continue. And she is off again. She's running. She's not stopping. She sees the finish line. Only two more stations. And victory can be hers. We got Gladdy, though. She's not giving up. That guy certainly has. But Gladdy is right on our tail here. Not going to be too much. She is not in a rush now. She has to walk this one off. She ate a little bit too fast on that last station. Hopefully, these two won't catch up. They're running, though. She's running. She sees an opportunity. Will she take it, though? That is the question. This guy right here is also showing some improvement. But Daffodilly is back up and running. She's eating some pumpkins here. What have we got? My poor belly. She's not doing so well. She's wiping her brow. Is she off? No, she is walking. She's going to have to slow herself down. But she's already finished the last station. All she has to do is cross that finish line. Can she do it? I think so. I think this is the one. I think we're going to win. Daffodilly. Going to give us her first victory here in the races. Excellent. Perfect. And she certainly was happy about that. So let me claim my reward here. Lovely day, isn't it? Well done, Kip, and I hear you had some excellent luck with your guests at the outcome of the Taste of Hobbiton. Allow me to offer my congratulations and this respectable reward. Excellent. And, like I mentioned, there is a deed associated with this. So we got all that. Now, a lucky day at the races. There are four here, of course, and then there are the keg races over in Thorin's Hall with four different dwarves. And there's a deed for winning with all of them. So again, I'm going to keep editing here until I win with each of the four hobbits. And then we'll go from there. This time we're going to be trying to do this with Birdie. Good day to you, my hobbit. 
Are you here to watch the Taste of Hobbiton? It is tremendously exciting events that we hold here every summer. Food is brought from all over the Shire, and our four speedy contestants must compete to see how quickly they can sample each bit of vittles. Here's a bit of inside information, if you'll be wanting it. Bertie Gamwich is a sure thing this year. I happen to know that he eats 11 full meals per day. And he is only just out for his tweens, out of his tweens, and as active as a young hobbit lad can be. I'd say the race can end with none other than young Bertie coming out on top. Would you like to place your confidence in his winning the event? I am sure there will be a great prize in it for you if you guess rightly. So let's see if we can do this with Birdie when the race starts in a few minutes. And they're off. All right, we got Mr. Gertie over here. He already appears to be in third or last place. Everybody here stopping to eat at the first station. And this really is the important step here. Usually the person that makes it out first has a very good chance of winning the race. And it looks like my boy is off. There he goes in second place here in a hotly contested race with Gladdy. Gladdy, she didn't win the last race, but she's been having a strong showing here. She's been doing very well consistently, either first or second most of the times. We got some people crying here. What's going on? I think it was that guy. Those two are kind of stuck behind. Gertie is walking it off, walking it off, buddy. Come on, you got to have to pick up the speed if you want any hope of beating Gladdy Chubba Baggins. This lady is on fire, dude. And we got Daffodilly over here also coming up. And there's my boy, Birdie. He hasn't fallen out of this just yet. He is falling a little bit behind, but, you know, maybe he can still catch up. He is running. He is running. Scrumptious, more please. He's happy. He's off to the pies. And we got Gladdy. Hopefully, she'll be slowed down here after eating that pie. She certainly has stopped for a bit. We got Gertie wiping his brow. He's running. He's catching up. He's in second place here. He may pull this out. Who knows? We got the berries. Last station up there. So we got a couple more after this. And let's see what we're doing here. She's off. She's walking. He is chilling out. He needs to dig digest for a bit. He's running. We have taken first place, guys. We got Birdie freaking Gamwich right here. Second to last station. Can he do it? Can he eat those berries? Chug them down, man. These three people are very close together here. Looks like Birdie, though, is taking a rest. Giving opportunity for Daffodilly and Gladdy. But he's off again. He's running. He's not walking like those fools. He's going for it. He sees the prize. He's at the last station. Eating those pumpkins. Come on. Come on, man. Run across that finish line. He's going to make it. He's going to win. Our young hobbit has done it. He has won the race. Excellent job. Excellent job. Hello there. Well done, Kippen. I hear you had some excellent luck with your guess at the outcomes of the Taste of Hobbiton. Allow me to offer my congratulations and this respectable reward. So Gladdy has been doing consistently well. I'm going to put my money on her Hello next. Good day to you, my good nice? hobbit. Are you here to watch a taste of Hobbiton? It is tremendously exciting events that we hold here every summer. Food is brought from all over the Shire, and our four speedy contestants must compete to see how quickly they can sample each bit of vittles. Here's a bit of inside information, if you'll be wanting it. Gladdy Chubb Baggins is actually my favorite this year. Her mother told me in confidence that Gladdy never stops eating for more than a few minutes at a time. That her appetite is fathomless. Yet, she is as sprightly she is as sprightly as a spring in springtime, wouldn't you say? Yes, I am fully convinced that she is a sure thing. Would you like to place your faith in her winning the event? I am sure there will be a great prize in it for you if you guess rightly. So let's cheer for her when the race begins. And we have yet another race to four hobbits. Up to the first station. Let me see if I can follow behind them. Let's see if our lady's going to win this time. Gladdy Chubb Baggins off to an early lead here. Running directly to the second station. As these stragglers are laying low behind. The only one with real any hope at this point is Birdie Gamwich. Let's see how she does here. She's going to choose to walk to the next station. Meanwhile, Birdie is running Establishing himself as the lead as these two hobbits are bringing the rear and surpassing Gladdy, who is now in third place. The situation is becoming more dire by the second, especially now as Bertie runs to the next station, leaving everybody in the dust. Still here in third place with Gladdy Chubb Baggins. 
Let's see if she can catch up. Hopefully these spies will slow down Birdie Gamwich. But he shows no signs of stopping the last station before the bridge. That is certainly a milestone. Once he passes here in first place, it is going to be his race to lose. Because at this point, it is going to be hard for somebody to catch up with him. And here we go. We got Gladdy running. She may be able to catch up with him. If she can gobble this down and run to the next station, there might be hope. Two more stations left. Only two left. And we got Birdie coming in. He's coming in quick. He's coming in quick. Oh, and our lady got left behind by Mudrick Rumble here. Close race between these three. They're neck and neck, really. This is really going to determine how things are going to happen. There we go. Gladdy taking the lead. Our girl here at the last station. Can't she do it? These two very close behind her. They may be able to surpass her depending on how she plays it after eating some pumpkin here. There she goes, sprinting for the finish. She's going to make it kind of cross that finish line. And we have a winners, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. Gladdy has won the race. Excellent. Well do? done, Kippen. I hear you had some excellent luck with your guess at the outcome of the Taste of Hobbiton. Allow me to offer my congratulations and this respectable reward. So we only have to win one more with Mudrick, I believe. So hopefully we can do that here in a hot second. All right, let's see about the final contestant here. Mudrick's Momentum. Stay and have some tea. Good day to you, sir. You fine hobbit to you. Are you here to watch the Taste of Hobbiton? It is tremendously exciting events that we hold here every summer. Food is brought from all over the Shire and our four speedy contestants must compete to see how quickly they can sample each bit of vittles. Here's a bit of inside information if you'll be wanting it. Mudrick Rumble is certain to win this year. I heard a rumor from a very trustworthy source that Mudrick eats a full five courses with every meal and then has seconds. But I believe he does a fair bit of trotting about the countryside to speak with the neighbors on the comings and goings of other neighbors. Mudrick is certain to win this year. Would you like to place your faith in his winning the event? I am sure there will be a great prize in it for you if you guess rightly. Hopefully he will see us through to the end as the contest begins here in a few minutes. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the final race here of the summer. All the Hobbits, of course, are starting out here in the first station. The most important station. It will determine who's going to take the lead. But more importantly, who's going to be falling behind and out of the race. Looks like these three Hobbits are going to slowly trudge to station number two. As we have a clear front runner here. Gladdy Chubba Baggins just stuffing her face at table number two. These three should be falling pretty soon here. They're pretty close behind. She's going to walk. She feels heavy. She ate too much, too fast. Will the restraint of these three pay off here? It looks like Mudrick Rumble is also struggling to go to Station 2. And once again, finds himself in last place. Sorry to God, guys. This is like the 20th time I've recorded trying to get Mudrick to win. But he never wins. He's the worst Hobbit ever. Get a move on it, man. Come on. There we go. See that slap worked. Will the slap... Give Mudrick the confidence he needed to pull ahead and surpass all three hobbits who now find themselves ahead of him. Nope, he's going to relax. Come on, let's give him some encouragement, guys. Let's cheer at him. There he goes, running again. Man, these emotes seem to be doing something, but it looks like this lady over here, Gladdy, is certainly taking the lead and maintaining it at that. Let's give him another slap. Let's get him moving. There we go. Move. So he has clearly established himself here at second place. He may be able to overtake Gladdy if he is able to pull through after this one. Doesn't take a rest. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Excellent running. And now we have a neck and neck tied race here pretty much. We got all of these guys here. Come on. Let's give him a slap here after this food. Get your butt going, man. No, he's going to rest. And we got Gladdy here walking. And look, Daffodilly out of nowhere running to the final station. We got two here. We got a chance. We got a chance, guys. We're going to have to cheer hard for Mudrick Rumble here. Can he do it? Please. Please, my friend. Just run. There we go. He's going to cross that finish line. It's finally over. Mudrick has finally won the race. Oh, my God. A reward well earned here. Well done, Kippen. I hear you had some excellent luck with your guess at the outcome of the Taste of Hobbiton. Allow me to offer my congratulations and this respectable reward.
Excellent. My god, that took forever. All right. So, I guess something else I'll do this episode is I'll do the horse races, because why not? It seems like racing is the theme of this episode. Again, I've already done these horse races. They don't change from festival to festival, but apparently there is a deed associated with it to do the race in every seasonal festival. So, let me go ahead and do that. I did the harvest in the spring one. I missed the winter one because I thought it was just a repetitive quest. But really, there's that deed associated with it. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? Let me pull it up here to the horse races. Alright, let's see where we are here. Race is all the way down there. So, we can go. Should be able to ride there fairly quickly. Here we are, ready for the races. Hello there. Hello there. Are you going to try to win a steed? I hear they are very fine up at Hegstacer Farm. Hello there. Might I speak? Welcome, to welcome. This is quite an odd event, don't you think, to race around these great tall beasts? I am not sure I like it at all, but folk come from near and far to take a chance on this game and prove their worth. The rules are very simple. Race through each gate and you mustn't fall off your steed before the time runs out. When you see two gates next to each other, you must choose which one to take, be it high or low. The low path may be muddy, and the high is sure to be dry, but precarious indeed. There will be other hurdles to disrupt you as well. To fuel up for the challenge, only the most spirited riders should even attempt such a feat. It is sure to be very dangerous. I myself would never attempt such a thing. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's take a pony here. <coughs> Let's run. Let's do it. Doesn't look like I have a timer available. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, what's going on? I cracked my legs. I don't know what happened there. That was really weird. It kind of like lagged out and then I got stuck and then somehow my legs got broken. So hopefully I'll have enough time to do this. That was a very long... That wasn't good. It's not good. Let's see if I can catch up, though. I wish I knew how much time I had left. I don't really have a timer. Alright, hopefully nothing fishy happens here again. Alright, I got my burst of speed here, so that's always good. And should be able to cross the finish line here. And there you go. Excellent. A lovely I have day. never seen such excellent riding in these parts, Kip, and I am very impressed. Alright. There we go. So there's that. And I think I'm going to call it an episode here. In the next one, we're going to continue doing some of the Summer Festival quests. I believe there's a few more here in the Shire and then I can head over to some of the other regions. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.